Hello you guys and welcome to Homeschooling and Oils. My name is Tina and today I'm going to show you, that's my children playing outside, excuse that, this is real life homeschooling. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the inside contents of the United States government from the media. Now if you didn't know this, you can get, you can like buy their PDFs or ebooks as well. Some, they even allow you to kind of like edit a little bit. I have not bought them yet. I just bought the one that was not I think they call it enhanced version. I just bought the regular version because the price is, is cheaper. And I was able to get this one for free. So I decided to actually go ahead and get this based on a book that I bought. And they gave me a free coupon. So I was able to get it for free. So if you're looking for a way to kind of incorporate U.S. government into your homeschool, this is a good thing for you to have because it does it in different ways. They're going to be learning stuff. So it encourages you to... Find, have a dictionary, have your little glossary, a thesaurus, all of this so that you can use aside. You can't use this stand alone. Well, you can, but it's going to be very difficult if you don't, if you're not already familiar with the terms. So they actually use the world book encyclopedia in order to make up this, these assignments. So if you don't personally own the world book encyclopedia, that's okay. You can get any book that talks about government. They, they was really precise about using common terms in regards to u.s government so you should be able to use your dictionary you should be use be able to use any u.s government book or textbook to go along with this because it's just basic not basic it's just talking about the government so it's the same thing and they do different lessons so what i like is that it's going to talk about government terms they ask you the questions and say for example you're like what I don't know what the answer is. They don't even give me like a story ahead of time. What I suggest that you do is go ahead to the back where the answers are. Go to the back where the answers are. And by the way, it do have a glossary to answer certain questions as well. So you can use the back of the book as well. And also, but I encourage you to have your own dictionary, your own government book or whatever you're using. Or if you have the word encyclopedia, pull it out, dust it off and use it with this. Because that's the book that they use to create this. So what you can do is you can go through and see what the answers are, write them on an index card or write them on a piece of paper, give it to your child for lesson one. They already know that those are the words that they're going to have to use in order to complete this puzzle. And then after they, they look up the words and find the definitions, then they can actually fill the puzzle out. So they have different little things. You have definitions. You're doing, you're like engaging with the words, the government terms in different ways. Sometimes you'll be doing puzzles. Sometimes you'll be writing in definitions. Sometimes it's going to be asking you questions to write on separate sheet of paper, answering different things, explaining different things. Then next you have some um, completing sentences. You have some multiple choice. You And I'm also going to add some um, lap books to this. I'm going to be adding, um, I have a whole government series, um, on video, like a video program on textbook, all about civics and the government. So I'm going to be adding that. And I also have a government textbook. It talks about the bill of rights. So the reason why I like this in particular, and I'm skipping some pages. The reason why I like this in particular is because it just breaks down the things into small little topics. Um, and then you can actually talk about it if it talk about it with your child using all the different resources. Look it up online or however you want to do it. You can actually do that. So I want to show you the inside. Of course, this is an ebook. So I was able to get this one for free based on a previous purchase, and they gave me like a coup a coupon to go along with this book that I was able to get a free ebook. So I took that coupon and I utilized it because we're going to be doing like government to the full next year because we have to do that for the qualify for our high school diploma. So I want to go ahead and get that over with. And I've been collabing and building up, building a curriculum around it because this is not my favorite topic. So I need to make it fun and engaging, not only for the, her, but also for me as well. So this is going to be a nice little refresher to go along with our textbook, our physical textbook, our visual textbook and then hands on and I also have some lap books that they're going to actually do and posters they're going to create to see how she's understanding or how he's understanding all the information that we're learning in regards to U.S. government and everything else that we're doing. So I'm getting ready to go. 
soon. So thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to click that like button, comment below. And also, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to share the video if you found it of some value and you know that someone that this videos can help. Please share it with them and I will talk to you later. Bye.